Slam. Support local artists and musicians. Hi guys, this is Bryant with Slam and I'm here with Alex from Bunkhouse. Today we're going to talk brewing, we're going to talk following your passion, and we're going to talk art. So, Alex, let's start with how would you, why do you get into brewing? Why do you brew beer? Boy, that's a, um, a complicated and not a complicated answer. Uh, I would say, I mean, just kind of being fascinated by craft beer, like the idea behind it, the um, kind of American way of craft beer, which is a lot different than a lot of other brewing traditions. Um, Americans kind of always classically trying to push boundaries, um, trying to come out with new flavors, like push ingredients as far as you possibly can, use them in new ways. Uh, and I just kind of like saw a really interesting community forming around it that I really liked. Um, it seemed like a good, like I've never met anybody that I didn't like in the brewing industry. Everybody seems cool. Um, it's very community oriented, like all these little tap rooms everywhere and stuff are always kind of big centers for um, you know, local causes such as slam and, and uh, various kind of creative pursuits and just like getting people together and sharing ideas and brainstorming. And I just wanted to be a part of it. Um, I've always been very uh, kind of creative person. Like I um, really enjoy the creative process of brewing and, and using, um, you know, lots of different skills and stuff like that. You can get some technical, some some creative stuff kind of going on and just kind of seemed like a cool job yeah so i imagine you always liked beer uh yeah since i came out the womb i think yeah <laughs> and at what point at what age did you decide i love beer and now i want this to be more than something i just drink but actually something i'm contributing and making yeah that's um well i mean i definitely didn't start homebrewing before i was legally of age that definitely didn't happen Good note um and uh I mean, I really kind of considered taking the real leap into professional brewing when I was about 23. Um, I'm 31 now, so like eight years ago. Uh, just out of college, I was working in an office job um, and didn't really find that office environments fit well for kind of my, uh, the way I like to work and just decided to jump both feet in and try to get into the industry and it's been awesome. And how would you equate brewing beer to the artistic process? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really like, I think one of the big things that ties it into art is like the sky is the limit, you know? I mean, it's, there's there's no boundaries to what you can try to do. Um, there's hundreds of ingredients that we use, there's hundreds of processes, all sorts of things like, and just putting that all together into something that comes together um, very much like a painting or a song or like the process is really similar. I'm a musician myself and uh, I find that the creative process for like coming up with a new song or like learning a new tone or whatever, um, it really all kind of lines up. So uh, it's, it's really just like wanting to be really creative, like making something unique, making something that has kind of your signature on it um, and that really lines up with kind of how my mind works. Yeah, in any art form, I write, I teach dance, and like once you really start to cook, you realize you're just in it and you get to play. Yeah. That you have an idea of what you want, you have goals of what you're hoping to get. Totally. But once you're in it, you're kind of at the mercy of whatever's gonna happen, and yeah. that experimentation is a real fun part. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's what keeps me interested, and that's one of the reasons I love working here is because we're a really small batch. Like, we don't really repeat beers. We just kind of are always churning out new stuff. And so I'm, uh, by choice, <laughs> forced to go through this creative process all the time, like multiple times a week. And it's really fun to like exercise that part of your brain, you know? Yeah, and you're learning something new no matter how much you've done it. Sometimes you get to go just a little bit further in the process. Yeah. And that really helps keep going as you try and learn new things. Um, why do you guys support the arts here? Does it echo out from your passion of brewing beer? Yeah, I mean, it's all definitely tied together. I think that a lot of it stems from just like a sense of wanting to build community too. Um, the brewing community and the art community are very much interlaced in a lot of situations. Um, I think it's just like a similar mindset. It's a similar pursuit like in life. It's like people who want to spend their life like trying to be creative, trying to create things that are cool. 
that people will like to enjoy or look at or just take in. Um, and we kind of see ourselves as a place where all that can kind of collide, you know? So like our creative process can support the creative process of others. Um, we have just a space for allowing that to exist. Um, and we love to use that to build community with both kind of uh, lanes, if you will. Uh, and it's just always kind of been a part of our identity here is to support local artists and and keep art on the walls and keep people talking about it and, and highlight the creative processes of artists and musicians and brewers and all of it. You're all following your passion. Taking yeah, a chance and that collective energy of risk takers really adds something when you put all the ingredients together. Yeah. So something with the artistic process I think is interesting versus you brewing beer is you're using two different senses. Mm -hmm. So do you think it's different or easier? How would you describe, I guess, tapping into the creative process where if you paint it and somebody's looking at it, it's very subjective and you could argue that tastes a little bit more objective. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely kind of like a few schools of thought on that in brewing. Like there's some people who are really into uh, like BJCP guidelines, like this is what a Pilsner is. It has to meet these parameters and this is what a Stout is and it meets these parameters. But what's really fun in brewing, especially on a small scale like this, is that we get to kind of blur those lines. Um, like for example, right now we have uh, what we're calling a Festivitzen on, which is like half Oktoberfest, half Dunkelweizen. And so it just like allows us to like really mash a bunch of stuff up together and like be creative with that process. Um, and and that is absolutely subjective. I mean, like taste, uh, what people think of beer looks like, what it smells like, all that stuff's subjective. Yes, there's like kind of like some parameters where you want to stay inside so that it's not objectively bad. <laughs> But um, really, it's a continuum of, of what guess, people yeah. like. Yeah, it's like actually you have not that more much senses different. Yeah. Because actually, yeah, look, I didn't think about that. Yeah, How I mean, a liquid looks right away kind of sets the yeah, tone for what I mean, you're thinking in your head. Visual is important in beer. Smell is important in beer. Uh, taste, obviously. Yeah, you kind of you kind of get to experiment in three dimensions. <laughs> that is really neat. And when you come in here and you're brewing, how does it help you to look around and see art on the walls? I mean, it's great. It just creates a good atmosphere, right? It's inspiring. Um, it's fun to see the art change. Like we try to work with as many artists as we can. And everybody's just got so many different like philosophies and, and techniques and all that sort of stuff. And it just makes me kind of like think about how I can push myself to try something new or like try a technique I've never done before or an ingredient or whatever. Um, I mean, other than just like it makes the tap room look awesome. Yeah, it's funny because <laughs> it's like you physically change something. It's a physical reminder that yeah. you can change things. Uh, one last question, kind of talking again about the artistic process. I feel that we have so many creative artists, musicians, brewers, because we're so close to nature. Yeah. Can you talk just for a minute on nature's effect on you and the creative process and what that means living in Montana? Yeah, how that affects you creatively. absolutely. I mean, it's totally an inspiring place to live, to like look out these windows and see snowy mountaintops and, and, and drive out into the country and see some rivers and beautiful landscape and stuff. Like that's totally just inspiring and it kind of oozes into everything we do. Um, Brewing has always been extremely tied to place in nature because the ingredients come from the earth, right? And uh, the different, like you grow barley in one field, it might taste different than barley in another field. And, and uh, even going so far as to use like forage stuff for flavoring beer, like spruce tips, like we use beets in beer. We used a hollowed out tree trunk <laughs> to make a beer one time. Um, it's it's always going to be tied to the place you're in. Um, brewing is highly, high, less so now, but like it always used to be highly regionalized, highly localized. Like what ingredients can we get here? Like what ingredients um, do we have to go find? And luckily we have really good access to really cool natural stuff here. We have good malt farms around, um, but also just like if you want to brew a spruce tip beer, I mean, we're just surrounded by that kind of stuff. So yeah, I mean, like some of the senses and experiences and and things like that that I pick up, like say hiking or paddling or whatever, mountain biking, it's like that is always gonna creep into how I form a new beer or how we do that here. That is awesome. So let's just end with any last thing you wanna plug, any special beer influenced by any of that ingredients you yeah, talked about? Um, right now, I mean, yeah, we're kind of influenced by the seasons at this moment because we have a wet hopped IPA on, um, brewed with fresh hops that we went and got um, 
unfortunately not local enough, but um, out in the Yakima Valley, uh, harvested, put in our brew kettle less than 12 hours after we picked them up. So that part was really cool. Um, we're also, I mean, the kind of the big news around here right now is uh, is that we are building a new brewery. So um, we're moving out to Four Corners and we're gonna expand and kind of increase our, our capacity, increase our um, pursuit of quality uh, and just provide like kind of a nicer space for everybody to hang out in. Uh, bigger, I shouldn't say nicer, different. Um, yeah, more and, room for art on the walls. Yeah, more room for art on the walls. Yeah, there's a lot of walls. I'm putting up a lot of dry walls, so there's a lot of room. Um, but yeah, you know, just uh, kind of always turning out new things here. So the news is always kind of the same. It's just keep stopping in, um, keep seeing what we're coming up with creatively. Uh, and it's always going to be different every time you stop in. So Cool, yeah, especially when you're in the new building. So please come and check out the old building. Check out the new when they open. Keep supporting Bunkhouse. Alex, thank you so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. This is Brian from Slam saying, please keep supporting local artists and musicians. Yeah. Thanks. Cheers. Slam. Support local artists and musicians.